All right, guys, we're going to be looking at how segments intersect within circles and how we set them up and solve for the little pieces using the power theorems and circles. All right, so it says find the value of x. And what you're going to notice is that you have uh, two uh, chords in there that are intersecting. And one of the statements that we know is if we take the product of the uh, intersection from the circle to the intersection within the chords, if we take those products on each individual line, then we can solve for this pretty easily. So let's go ahead and solve that. So I'm gonna say, okay, I look at this one, I say, okay, this intersects the circle and it goes to this intersection point right here, we call that X. And then I go to the other side and I say that same intersection to the point circle and I multiply those X times four. Um, after I do that, I do, I go back to the exact same piece. I say, okay, well, this is intersection of a circle um, all the way to that intersection of the chords, which is gonna be five. Um, and then I multiply it times the intersection of that, those chords back to that circle. So five times eight. Once I know that, I just do some basic algebra and start solving it out. Five times eight is 40 equals to four X. And then we're gonna divide by four. And we are left with X equals to 10. Simple math there. Okay, uh, we go into something a little bit more complicated, but it is the same process every single time. We are looking for the point of intersection for each piece of these segments. So let's go ahead and do this. I like to start with the easy one. Let's go here. I'm going to say, I look at the point of intersection and I go to the circle. Okay, and I know that this segment is three times, then what I do is I say, well, let's look at the whole entire segment from this point of the intersection all the way through to the intersection of the, of the lines in this case, which is gonna be five plus three equals two. And now I go back to the same piece. I go, okay, on the other side, I say, okay, from the point of intersection to the circle, which is four times, and then I follow it out one more time. I'm gonna say, okay, from the point on the intersection, the intersection of the circle for the whole uh, segment from there, all the way down to the point of intersection between the two segments, which is gonna be X plus four, that total distance X plus four. Once we do that, it's just simple um, arithmetic there. So three, five plus three is eight equals to four, x plus 16. I can distribute that if I want to. We don't have to do it that way. 24 equals to 4x plus 16. Subtract the 16 out. We're left with 8 equals to 4x. And what we're going to do is divide by 4, giving us x equals to 2. Okay, uh, let's go ahead. We can do the tangent one real quick because tangent one tends to be the trickiest because it's hard to recognize. Uh, but it's very, very similar, okay? So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna start with the point on the circle, the intersection to the intersection of the two segments. And you'll notice that that is four. And then once we have that, I'm gonna go back to this intersection of the circle and I'm gonna go to all the way to the intersection of the two chords or the two segments, I'm sorry, which is X plus four. That is the total length x plus four is that total length. And that equals to, here's the tricky part, we do need to count this six twice. So that equals to essentially this right here, six times six, okay? Uh, from there, it is um, just algebra. So once again, four x plus 16, distribute that four in there equals to 36. You subtract 16, that's gonna give us 20 equals to four X. And uh, after we divide by four, X will equal to five, right? Hope that helps you all out uh, with these. Try to figure out that last one with the tangent. You should do pretty good with it. Um, and those are all of our um, circles and segment properties when it comes to proportionality.